what's going on guys welcome back to the channel you guys already know if you have not watched the update video please go ahead and check out the last update video on the channel to know what's going on um and why uploads has been kind of sporadic on the channel um for the past i want to say a couple of months so that you can have an idea of what's going on and you know how i'm going to move forward or what i'm trying to do to move forward um and all kind of stuff as you know as i've said in the update video if you've seen it before already um i'm not gonna quit youtube okay not gonna quit doing it i love doing this i love doing this for me and also for you guys um it's just that because of the busy season the holiday season thing kind of ramped up around october um so i have to kind of prioritize that over doing youtube for the moment um so if you want a full breakdown of what's really going on i kind of go into depth well to a to a certain point <laughs> you know just to explain to you guys what's really going on with the channel okay so um and i also left a question for you guys if you guys would like me to just when i do reactions because i basically pick two days out of the week um um, when I don't have anything scheduled um, during that time to do anything, I'll do reactions, but I just do a bunch and try to to do all the for all the shows that I'm watching anime um, TV shows and also um, music reactions. I use those couple of days to kind of do all the reactions and do as much as I can for those days. Um, but the question is basically if you guys would want me to um up just send them out to you guys publish them same time as i'm finished doing them or would you like me to schedule them throughout the week if you guys would prefer just let me know that i'm gonna do a consensus and kind of decide what i what we want to do here as a community um, so if the majority says that schedule them throughout the week, then I will go with that. But make sure you go over there and voice your opinion on that update video, or you could leave it on this one. It doesn't matter. I'm going to see it anyways. Um, so yeah, man, Vikings. So, um, they're back in the water. <laughs> they're back in the water after that long, you know, getting the boats over and dragging the boats, um, Lagathil, she lost her baby, you know, um, and I mean, I don't know if she knew she was going to lose the baby or whatever, but she was doing some really weird things while she was pregnant. Ragnar was trying to tell her to take it easy and she didn't listen. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying with the women in this show. They don't listen to nobody. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just crazy to see her go through that again, but she's strong. I know she's going to move from it, but at the same time, I feel so sorry for her because she really wants to have another kid and she can't. Um, not only because of the prophecy, because in certain, in, in, in certain things, like I know their belief is very strong, you know, and y y you know what I'm saying? And the rituals, they believe in that stuff like wholeheartedly. So they don't try to kind of defy the odds. And a lot of times your belief can restrain you from doing certain things you know what i'm saying um so you know i i, I just what's going on in paris dude like these three storylines that are going on right now well four really in four diff well not really four different places but th in three different places four different storylines and two are two are about to clash um but we have the situation going on back in in um in Wessex with um with King Edward, you know, Judith and all that good stuff going over there. We lost last reaction, Quinthred, they um Judith had to kill her because she was about to kill King Edward. Um so there's a lot going on, man. Going on back in Kattegat, you know what I'm saying, with Harbard and Princess uh, um Queen Oslog and all of these other stuff, them finding sig um finding Siggy as a child like that was weird as hell because I didn't even know it was Siggy but when um I can't even remember his name the kid um Ragnar's son found when he said I found Siggy in the room I'm like Siggy that 
that was a child you found. It's like, why did they find Siggy as a child? That was kind of weird. So there's a lot, there's this mysterious thing that is going on in Katagat that we are, that is confusing the hell out of me. I don't know what's going on. So it's, it's a mind F at this point, but I'm going to see how it plays out because if, if there's no conclusion to this, <laughs> it's just going to feel like they're just using it to fill space and I'm not going to be happy about that, but I'm following it very closely and paying attention also. So, and then we have a storyline going on in Paris where they took out Count Odo and now, um, what's his name? <laughs> um, the emperor. He wants to to sleep with dude's sister, which he which he already sleeping with his sister, but they don't know. You know what I'm saying? Um, so this is crazy. But anyways, let's jump into this episode. Episode 10 and 11 is what I'm doing today. Um, so let's jump into it, man. See how this goes. See you guys for the review. All right, so that was Vikings episodes 10 and 11. Huge time skip. Caught me off guard. I didn't expect, I did really did not expect that to happen, that time skip there. I guess, I guess, I, um, I guess episode 10 was like half the season or something, because I think we have another 10 episodes or so to go. I'm not sure, but, um, but that was pretty cool, man. But the contrast, I was, alluding to at the end of the video was basically the right the perspective of Ragnar basically hated the fact that he was having a crippled son tried to kill him left him out there by himself you know what I'm saying um and now to for him to come back to this now where they're gonna go to England together that's that's cool stuff I like when writers do stuff like that because you know if anything, out of all the sons, out of out of all the sons right now, I mean, I mean, Bjorn is is very different from Ragnar. He's come around to some of the same kind of things as Ragnar, but right now, Ivar is the most like Ragnar. To be honest, like if you're talking about a, a person that thinks he's got the skills, even though he's, you know, what I'm saying, even though he's crippled, you know, he's got the the skills he's got the the brain the way how he thinks when you hear him talk to his brothers about certain things you know what i'm saying like i love his perspective when they were in when they were talking at the cabin and he's basically he basically was saying to them it is like you guys just do not understand it's like yes i you know what i'm saying never said i loved him or anything like that i just you know what i'm saying i admire him because throughout all of that stuff and and then bjorn kind of put his finishing touches on it where he was was basically saying that he's human you know what i'm saying he's gonna succeed he's going to fail and i think that's one of the things that we forget coming up throughout the seasons that ragnar is actually a human being and you know what i'm saying that's why i said like this season he's just been taking l's on top of l's on top of l's you know what i'm saying so it was like you got to appreciate the success and you also got to appreciate the failings didn't like the fact that he left them though like that was not cool i think that the only knock i would give him against um his character in the show you know what i'm saying him leaving but you know coming back and having this kind of self-reflection having regrets and things like that and, and you can really see that lagatha still loves ragnar that was never something that i thought that went away ever and you guys have heard me say it over and over during my reviews and during episodes where where I've told you that there's only one man that Ra that Lagatha will ever love, and that is Ragnar Lothbrok. So, um, and and the same is true for him. They're basically, as you want to call it, you know, use the cliche term of soulmates. You know what I'm saying? They are that in the show. No matter how far they are apart from each other, they always find themselves back in the same place together, doing things together. So they may not be in a relationship, but they do care about each other. Like you saw that in like, I think it was two episodes um, ago. I think it was in, in episode nine when she lost the baby, right? When she lost the baby and she told him to leave and he stayed in there, him and Bjorn stayed there. And that's what I'm saying. Like little stuff like that. They put in the episodes for you to, 
for 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 you to figure out you know what i'm saying like there's no words spoken you know they don't have to tell you that not treating the audience like an idiot you just have to fill in the blank stuff like that is what good writing is about um and i love that so uh i'm definitely digging it man i don't hate the time skip um I, i'm all for it you know what i'm saying um I guess they thought it was necessary to move the story along to kind of, you know, let these kids grow up to see what happens. Um, so we'll, we'll see. Didn't get an update on anything else other than the fact that we know Ragnar tried to kill himself. And I know that crows are associated or is it crows or ravens? I think it's ravens. Ravens are associated with Odin, I know that in the lore of um, Norse mythology, right? They are ravens are re um, associated with Odin, so I know that much. So I know that Odin did not allow him to kill himself because he had them eat through the rope and save his life. I I don't want Ragnar to die. I'm not ready for him to die yet. Um, you know, I'm not ready for him to die yet. Like, I want to see him grow old and and over the kingship to be Bjorn or whoever or whatever, which I think it's it has to be Bjorn, right? It, ha it has to be. Like, I don't see anybody else that should be taking, you know, you know, Ragnar's place. I think there's still a purpose to Ragnar's character also within the show. So I don't see them letting him kick the bucket anytime soon. Now that they've displayed that he can't even kill himself because I think the gods still have plans for him. I think these things have to happen. The things that the seer warned Bjorn about, I think these things have to happen for them to see better days. You get what I'm saying? Like, sometimes you got to go through the hell to get to the bed of roses. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think that's what's going to happen. I think they're going to have a greater appreciation, even though the seer is telling him, oh, you're going to woo the day that Ragnar came back. You know, I still see them kind of using that calamity um, to bring forth something beautiful and a better time for them to live in. I don't know what's going to happen in England, but I'm excited to see what's going to happen over there. Once Ragnar gets over there is, you know what I'm saying? To get Magnus's son. Um, so we'll see what happens. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching as always, man. This is my review for these episodes and I hope you guys come back to check out the next reactions. Also, you know, it's only like a hundred of you guys watching my Vikings reaction, man. And I appreciate it. Okay. So make sure you leave a like, leave a comment in the comment section, man. I'm asking you guys. I know you guys are watching. Leave a comment, man. Tell me if you guys are enjoying the reactions. Now, I know some people will leave it and, you know, they'll tell me, yo, you're one of, you know, one of the best. You know what I'm saying? You um, upload full reactions and stuff like that. I know you guys like the fact that I do that. So just leave a comment in the comment section. Leave a like and also subscribe. If you are new, there's more to come. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys next time right here <laughs> on terabyte reacts peace out man i'm out